everyone, it's Sarah and welcome back to Watch Making Wednesdays, where every Wednesday we make something absolutely delicious. This week we're going to try apple cider frontal cakes. I've never actually fried anything before so this is going to be a new shot for me. Hopefully nothing burns or catches on fire or anything like that. We shall see. So for your dry ingredients, you're going to need three cups of flour, a half a teaspoon of salt, you can't really see it because it's in a white bowl, one tablespoon of cinnamon, a half a tablespoon of allspice, and two teaspoons of baking powder. Sorry, I wanted to say baking soda. It's not baking soda. Two teaspoons of baking powder. So what you're going to do is you're going to combine all your dry ingredients into the bowl and whisk them together. I think they're all incorporated. So all of my dry ingredients are now in one bowl. And in another bowl, you're going to want to mix your wet ingredients. And so your wet ingredients include three eggs, one cup of whole milk, one cup of apple cider, and fourth a cup of sugar. I got sugar here in this bowl. One tablespoon of vanilla. I didn't separate that one out yet. That's still in my bowl. So we know what happened during the Pop-Tart one, so AKA let's not forget to put it in this one. So I'm gonna add my three eggs, my sugar, and my vanilla. Look at that. I actually put my vanilla in correctly this time. And you're actually gonna wanna beat these ingredients up first before you add the two liquid. So that was on the lowest setting that I beat that. And then it says you're gonna wanna mix in your cup of apple cider and your cup of whole milk and then mix that together. Then you're gonna mix in your dry ingredients. It actually smells like fall in here. I guess with like the cinnamon and the allspice. I'm assuming you don't want any clumps in this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and dump in the rest of my dry ingredients. On the stove, I have the oil heating up so that I can fry this. So I believe all of it is mixed up. And then what they did in this little, in the little clip of the video was they stuck it in a, like a Ziploc bag, like a gallon Ziploc bag, and then cut off the tip of it to kind of make it like a piping bag. I've done that before with something and it was completely messy for me. So I went out and got a little squirt bottle that you, you know, can take camping with you for ketchup or whatever. I'm going to use this because I feel like it's going to give me a little bit more control. So, I'm progressing. They're starting to look more and more like funnel cake versus, you know, the small little doodad of a thing. But uh, let's go ahead and give it a try. Well, mine's much more crunchier than a funnel cake. Like it's not as soft, maybe. Because you're supposed to Cook it one minute on each side. Uh, maybe because mine are smaller, I shouldn't do that. But you really taste the cinnamon. I hope that you try this. I hope it's good. I'm enjoying it. I actually like it much more crispy than I like it soft. But if you like these videos, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Leave a comment below if you're going to try this or of something else that you'd like me to try. Um, I really, I'm not good at frying, so no more frying because this was, this was good enough. <laughs> um, 
But uh, yes, and I'll see you next Wednesday.